little update on the ATS25 and the uh, updated firmware. I was just looking at Dave N9EWO's webpage, which is a very interesting set of um, shortwave listening resources. And Dave's got a little bit of information about a new version of the Bernard Bins firmware, version 4.11. Now, this is going to be a paid upgrade. I've either read somewhere or been told via email that the the cost of this upgrade is going to be fairly minimal. So I think I'll be giving it a go. Dave gives you a link here to uh, the page that covers the updated firmware. And that takes us here. This is, uh, you know, I've pressed the translate button on Google Chrome because this page is, uh, is in Russian. Anyway, we've got some information. Now, one of the big advantages of this update is it's going to have a system for flashing the ATS-25. That means you're not going to have to use the normal Arduino software, the normal Arduino tools, which can be quite confusing. Okay, so this is going to be an easier upgrade than we've had in the past. Um, if we look at the download page, there's a flash tool. There's two flash tools for different versions of Windows, I guess. Um, there's also a user manual in English. We'll have a quick look at the PDF for that. And that gives us a breakdown of the various functions of the ATS-25 with the updated firmware. And just, uh, that looks quite, quite detailed. So, worth a visit, I think, to the site for the manual alone. Um, just translate that again. Well, we've got various software files. Instruction for activation. So a little look at that. Looks like you have to um, enter the activation key. Uh, on the radio is quite interesting. Um, so that should be quite good. Now I'll just go back to the original page. And we'll translate that back. But the only issue we've got at the moment with this is uh, we can't buy the license key. Okay, it's only uh, available to those in the Russian Federation. So at the moment we can't enable this upgrade. But um, it's certainly something I will be looking at. And if it's reasonably priced, which I believe it will be, I'm going to have a go with it. So I recommend if you're interested in this update, you um, have a look at uh, this website. Firstly, I'll give you a little bit of information about the ATS-25 and the new firmware. And also keep an eye on Dave N9EWO's uh, um, website, particularly the Dave's Radio News section of his site. And hopefully um, he'll update that when the firmware upgrade becomes purchasable for those of us outside of the Russian Federation. There you go, ATS 25 latest news. Thank you for watching.